King Ryan Garcia, ladies and gentlemen, has parted ways with his trainer, Joe Goosen. Uh, this is unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. I know a lot of people felt like this was going to be on the rise, but finally we have came to the conclusion that they, they will be parting ways. It is official. There's no more room for speculation. Uh, if, if anybody's been living under a rock, King Ryan Garcia, you know, he took a, a su he suffered a devastating loss to Javante Tank Davis. Um, some people obviously are getting on him for the way he went out and things of that nature. But people are going to say what people are going to say. He fought an unbelievable fighter. In Javante Tank Davis, who was undefeated, he's a champion. Uh, I mean, people are going to say whatever they want to say, but thank God he got in that ring and he made it out peacefully. But obviously, something went wrong. There's a lot of frustration to go around. You know, a lot of people are just going to allude to the press conference, this and that and the third. But clearly, him and his trainer, something, something's going on. Something was going on. You understand? You don't just part ways after a big time defeat like that. You know, but I'm here to break news to you. This is being reported by just about everybody. Um, this is from ESPN's Mike Coppinger. You know, everybody subscribe to Flight Sports for more news updates and more. You already know what it is. Star boxer Ryan Garcia and trainer Joe Goosen have parted ways in aftermath of the seven-round KO loss to Javante Davis, obviously in Vegas. No decision has been made on Garcia's next trainer, ladies and gentlemen. That's um that's that's official news. That's coming from sources. He looks to continue his quest for a hundred and forty pound title shot. So clearly, King Ryan Garcia is not done. You know, um, is it, but obviously Joe Goosen is done with him. Um, Goosen has not res uh, responded or anything to this news. You know, obviously his his name is just ringing like a telethon. Him and King Ryan Garcia has officially parted ways. Garcia now um, was suffering that loss. You know, he's twenty three and one. He still has nineteen knockouts, so that left hook is still deadly. You know, um, Garcia and Goosen first teamed up when Ryan Garcia was still growing up as an amateur boxer in Southern California. Garcia was trained by his father, Henry Garcia, for most of his pro fights. But Eddie um, Reisno took control of the corner in 2018. Reisno, Canelo Alvarez, longtime trainer, guided Garcia to five wins and five bouts, including his seventh round TKO of Luke Campbell. Um, following his career best victory, Garcia was out of the ring for 15 months while he addressed his mental health and recovered from wrist surgery. Uh, when Garcia returned back in April 2022, there was a familiar face in his corner alongside his father. You know who that was. That was Goosen. The 24-year-old was trained by Goosen for three fights. A decision went over T Tagawa, you know, a knockout over Fortuna. And obviously, um, his loss that he just suffered from Javante Tank Davis. The first two fights with Goosen took place at 140, while the super fight versus Davis, obviously, we all know, was contested at a catch weight at 136. Garcia, who fights, obviously, um, out of L.A., he's ranked number six out of all, all the junior welterweights. You know, uh, so... It's crazy. You know, his future is very bright, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know who's sleeping on King Ryan Garcia, but it did, this opens up the door of, like, what all the speculation of what's next for King Ryan Garcia. You know, because to be honest with you, this is just the beginning. You got to think about it. You got a guy coming off, you know, arguably the bet, not even arguably, this is the, was the biggest fight in boxing. Clearly, he moved boxing forward, you know, obviously tank big time pay-per-view seller, but you're not going to tell me King Ryan Garcia didn't have nothing to do with the numbers that move forward. So when you think about somebody who, you know, was looking to train him, clearly you have the total package here. You know, he lost to a great fighter. We got to get out of this, you know, this thought process of, 
when you lose, it's over for you. And that, because that's what's really screwing the sport of boxing. Us as fans, us as, you know, people that follow the sport, we got to get out of that. You know, as many great fighters who lost and came back, you understand? And like I said, let's see what happens with Ryan Garcia and his progress and what he accomplishes, you know, but this opens up the door. Could you imagine? You know, it seemed like Tank and um, Ryan Garcia, they they exchanged numbers, you know, at the press conference. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not here to cast no aspersions, you know, but who knows? Could you imagine, you know, if he got up with a coach Calvin Ford? I mean, are you serious? You know, could you imagine what Coach Calvin could do for Ryan Garcia? I mean, these did not now, <clears throat> pardon me, now you start to really, really take this thing up a notch. You understand? It goes to another level now. The door opens up, man. It's, everybody's going to want to work with him. You know, we got to understand. He just got to sharpen up the toolbox. Clearly, he got to get his skills right. So, you know, I'm telling you, there's a lot of people who will want to work with him. Um, Ryan Garcia obviously has done his thing, man. Seriously, Goosen, you know, they parted ways, but clearly Goosen was working with Ryan Garcia. They, it was some, it was some good years there that they had together. Obviously, it didn't end as planned. You know, it, it never ends well. We all know that. You know, it is what it is. At the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, Ryan Garcia is moving on. You know, to much, much bigger and, like I said, greener pastures after this situation is over. We got to understand, you know, whoever trains him has got a superstar in their hands. You know, um, clearly in that fight with Tank, it was a lack. Everybody is, it seemed like that's the universally renowned when he fought Javante. It was a lack in skill. It seemed like it was just like, just a complete class act of skill from coming from Javante Tank Davis and a lack of skill coming from Ryan Garcia. And it completely just just decimated him, you know, and made him just look horrible, you know. And like I said, it's, it's truly unfortunate, ladies and gentlemen. You know, it is what it is at the end of the day. No matter what people want to say, here at Flight Sports, we're going to rock with Ryan Garcia because he did move boxing forward. I don't like the fact that a lot of people want to you know, talk all this crap about Garcia, man. We got, at least he got in that ring. If nothing else, give him that respect. You understand? He did what a lot of these people don't want to do. He did what a lot of these people are scared to do. You know, so give this man major props, major credit. You know, like I said, I'm loving what they're doing right now. I love what Ryan Garcia is doing. Let's see what's next. We're going to be here documenting his next, you know, trainer. And like I said, obviously... You see, you see this a lot, you know. Same thing happened with um, my man Deontay Wilder. You know, clearly he parted ways after he lost. You know, a lot of people felt like something was off. But like I said, skill, man. Something got to get sharpened up. You got to sharpen those blades skill-wise, and that's what it seemed like Ryan Garcia is doing. He's taking the first step to get his skills right. You know, and this is, this unfortunately, this is the part of the business, man. Everybody, you know, don't stick around forever. You know, this is a sport of boxing. And this is Flight Sports TV. Make sure you hit the like button and you subscribe. Peace and love.